Hi, I'm Dr. Felipe Kitamura, and I'll present a machine learning mini lecture on learning from examples and how this affects radiology machine learning models. Let's say you want to build a classifier to differentiate between these two groups, group A and group B, and I'll give you one example for each group. Now let's say we have a new image and I want you to choose in which group you're going to put this new image. So just stop this video for a moment and think about it. One could arguably say that group B is related to water uh, sports and group A is not. So we could say that we're going to put this guy on this bike on group A. But if I show you more examples for group A and group B, you may understand that the concept is a little bit different. So group A is just related to people and group B is related to sports. So now we have a much better understanding that we have to put this guy on this bike on group B. So the point here is that having a bigger data set helps us to really catch the understanding of what is the concept that we're going to give the computer for the two groups. Another concept that I want to show you is uh, related to this example. So let's say we want to build a classifier to differentiate two different groups of images. One of them is T1 images of hemorrhages and the other one is T1 images of normal patients. And let's say we train a model on those images. We know that most of the time uh, hemorrhage may appear as bright lesions on T1 because they are subacute. But if we have an acute hemorrhage, it may be not that bright. It's usually gray, like iso-intense to the gray matter. So if we give this image to the model that was trained on only bright lesions, it may get it wrong and classify it as normal. And the reason for that problem is that we didn't have a representative data set that had all the imaging appearances of this specific disease. And this may happen to all kinds of diseases. So the point here is to show that we must have a data set that shows the disease in all ways possible if we want to build a classifier that is robust. Now, I want to ask you something else. Uh, let's say you are asked to create a big data set. Which of these diseases would you choose? The point of this question is just for you to find out that to create a big data set, it's much, much easier if you're working with a prevalent disease. So all of these are very rare diseases except fractures. And this is why choosing fractures would be much, much easier. Also, it would be much more uh, important in terms of impact for patients because if you are building a model for a uh, common disease, you would be able to help uh, much more people. So in summary, in this lecture, I wanted to show that data sets for machine learning must be big and also they must be representative of uh, what the distribution of imaging findings may be. There's also a direct implication to radiology which is the difficulty to create models to predict rare diseases.